good afternoon, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I said good afternoon twice and welcome. We are welcome. the Highwaymen. We are indeed the Highwaymen. And why not say welcome twice, good afternoon twice? You know, why, there's not enough afternoons in a day, in my opinion, Jay. Let's, if I, I, let's have three. Go on, do it. Do it again. Good afternoon, good afternoon, and thrice good afternoon. And today we're going to be talking about ghosts, and I am going to tell you about the time that myself and my wife both saw a ghost. But first, we want to thank our 97 subscribers. We're three off 100. Three off 100. We can claim our name when we get to 100 guys. So any more likes and subscribes will be much appreciated. So we can claim our name and we can vi finally be the highwayman of YouTube properly. I you know what, I've honestly got, got to say from, from the heart, it's it's amazing. It really is. Uh, you know, I mean, we have a great time together and we, we have done for years. And the fact that, that other people are sort of joining in now and want to be a part of it, it's just, just absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, huge thank you, everybody. Now, also, I've got to mention, this is the first video in, in October. And if you've seen uh, episode number 22, um, we decided that we would do a giveaway. And uh, we had a little competition going. And we said, you know, if you liked, subscribed, and in the comments told us whether you wanted a T-shirt or a goodie box of, of British goodies, then we would do a, a draw today. So with all, so I closed the competition yesterday. Uh, nobody entered, so we're not giving away anything. So it's, we've, I think we've got to wait until we can afford to give away a better prize. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, uh, oh, or maybe no. people genu genuinely aren't interested. Or the, the, in fact, it was the Naked Attraction video. And they were too busy skipping forward to when Judith took all her clothes off. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, let's yeah. be brutally honest. You yeah. either have a good sniff of a snatch or a curly whirly. <laughs> I gotta well, say, the curly whirly. I, I was the curly say, whirly I, is up there. I figure the curly whirly is going to be my uh, my uh, my go to there. So, so well, yeah, what's so your goats, tipple there, Jay? Uh, just got to ask you, what, what's coke. in the glass there, mate? Just Coke, mate. Ah. Coca Cola. I've been Very away on good. holiday for a week and. I have to say, all inclusive, uh, drink. I'm not drinking anymore forever. Well, probably till Christmas, but yeah. well, well, maybe, maybe till the weekend, maybe Friday. <laughs> yeah, but uh, so I've had, yeah, so I've just, just, I've had, I'm ginned out, as they say. Uh, as I say. Yes. So, ghosts and ghoulies. So, I'm going to start actually with my little story of, of the time both my wife and I saw a ghost. Or shall we say, shall we believe in ghosts? Do we believe in ghosts? Do we believe in ghosts? 100%. 100%. Okay. So, my, my, so I'm lying in bed, asleep, as you do. Can I just ask, um, I'm sorry to interrupt, I'm sorry, sorry. Go on. I'm trying to get the mental picture. Is this in your home? Is it in your own bedroom? Where Where are yeah. you? We're in, we're in, our, in our, our, our last house. We're in our, our old house. Now, interestingly, Sarah um, had, um, we'd been to a funeral about two weeks before. We didn't think about this at the time, of her, uh, I say step brother. It's um, her dad's fiance. They weren't brought up together or anything, but they technically were stepbrother and sister, but not particularly close. They were, we've been to his funeral, and he lived in our village, but that's sort of by the by. So it's the middle of the night, fast asleep. My wife wakes up shouting, Jay, 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 there's someone in the bedroom, there's someone in the bedroom. And I wake up and I see somebody standing at the end of our bed. So I start shouting names. Like, you know, the daughter's name starts with Paige, Arissa, Dante, you know, is that you? And I'm going through that. And then also this kind of, this figure just kind of shrinks into nothing and disappears. So, oh, my God. Now, I have a, I have, I've got to, we both saw something. So without a shadow of a doubt, we both saw something. Did I see a ghost or did I not? I don't know. But my wife will, will often wake in the middle of the night or watch when we're watching telly and she falls asleep and she'll get suddenly wake up and start looking around the room and go, there's water coming down the walls. Why is there water coming down the walls? It, she does it a lot. Not a, not a lot. She probably does it once or twice a year, you know. She's done it more than once. A hallucination. Really, yeah, it's, like a, it's a waking hallucination. Okay. So my argument is, did she have a waking hallucination? And we didn't think about the funeral at the time. Although we, we had... We had you know, he'd been to his funeral. We didn't really think about it until kind of uh, later when we talked about it. And and then as she woke me up, did she put the idea in my head 
you know, fuzzy eyes and all the rest. Yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. And did I see what I expected to see? Do you understand what I'm saying? There, there so, would be. Sorry, mate. Carry on. Well, you know how vivid dreams are. So yeah, yeah, case, yeah. Is it a case of that as I woke up, she kind of put the idea in my head, and then I'd sort of just sort of looked and I'd seen what I was kind of expecting. That's kind there of that's be. my rational brain. That's my rational brain. Well, that's it. I mean, there would be a psychological argument for for that to be the case. Yeah. Uh, so you, I'm, I'm quite sure that somebody who's a, an awful lot more clever than we are would be able to sit there and argue the reason for it is because our, our brain runs a slight lapse. That's where you get the deja vu thing from sometimes. Uh, and, and one side of your brain is catching up with the other and you see what, what you think you are supposed to see. That said... I also don't believe in coincidences. So yeah. I am pretty sure that if Sarah saw something and then you saw the thing, and did you then compare? Did you both see the same thing? Well, no, not immediately. Because I was just kind of like, well, there's nothing there, there's no one there. You know, um, you know, gone through the kids' names and then mm -hmm. obviously the thing disappeared. And I, I think, I mean, it's going back quite a few years now. And... Um, and I'm, I was just sort of like, there's no one there, there's no one there. And we just sort of turned around and went back to sleep, you know, as you do. And then sort of thought about it. L L as like, you do. Person in their dream, you just could have been Santa, you know, leaving some presents. Of course. Uh, you know, after a quick scramble downstairs and had a quick look. Yeah. So I did if he'd left me a full sack. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have been in a rush to get out of the bedroom. <laughs> No, no, no. Um, so 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 yeah, so so that's my take on it. But but I was thinking because obviously I'd start to talk, think about what, what we we're going to talk about today, and I was thinking about ghosts. And um, <laughs> I think you know if I was going to come come back as a ghost, I'd want to come back as me twenty year old year old self, or or maybe I'd uh, do a bit of bit of um, virtual, well, not virtual, psycho psycho. Plastic surgery on myself was, do you know what I mean? Make myself, you know, a bit more buff and a six pack a and a 12 inch well, yeah. I mean, in a roundabout. <laughs> we way. both thought of that. Why <laughs> we both think about the same? Like, yeah, we both come back with a 12 inch penis. Yeah. Um, so, so, and then I kind of thought, well, what, what is it? What is it? You know, what happens when you die? You know, mm. um, I was talking to my brother in law about it and he was kind of saying, well, he thinks that we'd some, there's something out after but we come back as energy and then i'm thinking if you go back to our aliens um trilogy that we did the last one when we talked about where humans come from i think that's all we talked about telepathy vaginas we spoke a lot we about vaginas we did we did speak a lot i think yeah. that was in that one yeah uh, we spoke about vaginas but i think we touched on telepathy good that we didn't touch on vaginas wasn't it really um oh. <laughs> but we touched on telepathy but again you know if, if you die and there's an element of telepathy within human beings is it a kind of more of a like a not a visual connection, although we see things? Is it more of a, a te telepathic connection that enables us to see something that actually isn't there? Do you know what I mean? So we're actually seeing it's quite it, possible in our in our brains because yeah. people talk about so people talk about seeing elderly relatives and they always talk about them as, as they were. Yes, that's true. Not their, not their best projection of themselves, which is what I was talking about earlier. Yeah, no, I, I can see exactly what you're saying there. But, of course, we're seeing things from a physical perspective. Mm. And mm. if you turn that on its head a little bit, and mm. if it is all about enlightenment, if we are put on this planet to, to gain knowledge, to move on to the next stage or whatever it is, however you want to do it, that is when, as you die, that's when you're your zenith of knowledge. You can't learn anymore from that point sure. on. So whilst whilst we see things from, from a beauty or a physical perspective, could, could it be that that is where you are at your most, your peak of knowledge? So from, from a spiritual side of the, the, the fence, that's as good as you get. So as yes. whilst we see an old person, do you see what I mean? It's not mm. the outside that we're meant to be seeing, it's, it's the inside that we're meant to be seeing. God, that's what deep. Are... It's very, very deep seeing people on the inside. You sound like a gynecologist. Well, um, you know, always prepared to give it a go. <laughs> but what about people who see, like, you know, old, say in these old houses and they see, like, you know, the, the maid that walks through the walls? Oh, yeah, well, that used to be that, that used to be an opening and things like okay. that. 
I do have a ghost story myself. Cool. As it so, uh, so as, as well you know, we lived in France for several years, and uh, and we were lucky enough to purchase a very old. It was called a relay de la poste, which is um, where once upon a time the horses would would be changed, ready to go on to the next section with the mail. You see, so it was like a it was like a, a, a coaching house in, in yeah. France, but purely for where they would come and change the house. And of course, it was like a coaching inn as well, so that so that they could go and sleep there the night and all that sort of stuff. Well, this place was built in the Napoleonics. It was built around about 1750. And uh, and if you can sort of visualise it, it really was a stone building and it had a stone turret with right. a, a stone spiral staircase, which bizarrely went the wrong way round. Instead of it going that way, it actually went that And it's because oh. the guy wish it was left-handed. Yes, you told me about this before, I think. Yeah. Aha, aha, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyhow, it had a cellar. And the, where we used to keep the wine and the beer barrels and all the other bits and pieces like that. And it was very low, the height to this. Hang thing. on. You, was, bought, you bought beers by the barrel? <laughs> yeah, well, it was a pub, wasn't it? It was, it was, oh, it was, it was an know, operating was a hotel. It was oh, a hotel. Okay. But, but okay. We, had the, we had the bar that was open to the public. So, yeah, yeah. it had, you know, beers on, on draft and all that sort of stuff. And right. the wines were in there and, and everything else. So the, I would say the height of the cellar entrance was probably about here if I was standing up, and right. it was it was um, an arch. It wasn't, but it was it was pointed at the top, if you know what I mean, like a, like a medieval sort of thing. And yeah. it had two. It was quite wide, and it had two big latch doors that you would yes. go into, and it was the same height all the way through. You couldn't stand up in it, and it was really long. Went went on for ages. Anyhow. After a while, it became second nature just before you got there to duck your head because the amount of right. times I banged my pig in head, I can't tell you. So, so it was literally, and you're in and out of the cellar a lot. So it was a matter of course, bowing your head. And on this one occasion, and I was rushing, uh, loads of people in the bar, and I bowed my head to go. And as I did, I just, as I dropped my head, I became aware of a, a person just stood literally just stood right in front of me and and at that but it was too i couldn't stop i couldn't do anything and i literally went straight through this person my head was still down and as i did it here's the really weird freaky thing the doors were still shut but a cat ran out of the cellar right it wasn't a real cat it, it, it couldn't it, there, there was no cat so it's a ghost cat it was a ghost cat. So as I kind of walked through this person, couldn't tell you anything about that because it was literally in my face yeah. as soon as I was there. But as I passed through the person, this this cat ran out. And it, oh, it was ever so bizarre. So ghosts, animals have ghosts as well then? Why wouldn't they? You know, what makes us so special? But, you know, if you talk about, you know, we have this belief that people go, don't move on and all the rest of it because th things have happened and haven't been correct and stuff. Now, how does that work with animals? You know, animals were killed. That have been well, because because a, what's to say um, you're going to be coming back as a human being next time around? Yeah, I think if well, we if we knew we were coming back as animals, we'd treat them a bit better, wouldn't we? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe people that have been cruel to animals before they have to come back. Well, I tell you what, you can come back and be a cat. Yeah, or maybe people that eat animals. Who knows? All guilty. All guilty. Yeah. So, so we believe in ghosts. I don't know. I think part of it is to do with you know wanting there to be more after life, isn't there? You know, this wanting to believe it. Um, that, I, that, that, that I get. You know what I mean? If you if you if you're if you've just been bereaved and you yeah. lost somebody and and yeah. You're, and yeah, oh my god, oh my god. But what what benefit would me seeing a cat be? You know, mm. and what benef benefit would your your estranged? I mean, you know, no, clearly not not someone close in the family. So, so how would that? Why would you? Oh my God! I would so wish they hadn't died. I really wish they'd be here. Yeah. And you kind of manifest it in your mind. That, that's not the case either. I don't know. Though. I mean, you think about people who have done um, drugs and um, you know hallucinogenic stuff. You know, yeah. we are capable of hallucinating. You know, I know somebody who did a space cake in Amsterdam, as you do, who talks of seeing giant things in the middle of the road and things like that. So we are capable of hallucinating these things with a little bit of encouragement. True. You know, maybe True. you... 
maybe you'd been sniffing something before you'd gone down there. Maybe someone had been gluing something on and you'd gone a bit of, got a bit of an that's, intake that's of it. That's the thing. No, because when I, when I was working behind the bar, I never drank, never drank. No, all. no, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking now. But but seriously, though, but if we're capable of hallucinating from drugs and, and things like that, why are we not capable of hallucinating these things anyway? It's yeah, fair you know what I'm saying? It's a it's fair, fair argument, argument it? yeah. So do we believe in ghosts? I believe that people see ghosts. You know, somebody I like you say, you're you, do you, you, Robson and Jerome then. I honestly thought you were, I believe for every... Yeah, don't get that job. Yeah. Um, no, so, so yes, yeah, so I believe anyone who tells me that they've seen a ghost, I absolutely believe that I've seen something. Yeah. Uh, oh, actually, there was another thing I was going to go on to, actually. The spiritualist church thing. Now, oh, right. my sister-in-law, I think she's kind of open to anything like that. She went to one of these spiritualist churches where they talk about the dead. And and, and apparently, when you the first time you get very unusual to get called out, well, she got called out. Right. Um, and Sarah had a, an auntie. It was, a, it was She was a very, very particular woman. You know, she, and um, she, the lady said, I've got a, a, a woman here. She described her perfectly. And she's looking for Joanne. And um, is there a Joanne here who recognises this, uh, this description? And, and she said, "Can you stop putting? Can you stop putting pins in in the photos, please?" And Joanne had a, a bought a pin board for in like a cork board for in her kitchen, and she had all the old photos of her dad and her aunties when they were young, and right. like the old black and white ones, and she'd put them on the pin boards. And, but I can just imagine her auntie saying to Whoa, her, "Oh, wow!" You know, she was, like I said, she's quite particular. Don't you know? I can imagine her being quite offended by by that. So again, wow. I, I don't know, I'm open. I'm open to. Be, I, I believe in all the things that people tell me. I believe that people's experiences are true. Um, but as I say, if you're going to manifest yourself as a ghost yourself, you know you'd want to manifest if you because you're not a physical entity at that point. Um, you know you'd probably manifest a better version of yourself. So I wonder whether some of it's comfort in our heads, or again, if it's just energy. People are just floating in the ether. You know, we've got Wi-Fi and. And radio waves and stuff. If, if when you die, you are just literally floating around in the ether, and at some point you can get into people's heads. And if it's it's not necessarily even sh show, you know, showing them, it's just the, their energy in your brain suddenly gives you the hallucination. Talking about you know the, the space cakes. Okay. Yeah, I guess that that could if, be logical. If that, if, if that energy somehow taps into something into your head, whereas then manifests. Something that you think you visually see that, but in fact you don't. It's more of an hallucination. Is that what 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 ghosts are? My God, I think I've just solved it. I've just solved the mystery of the I universe. Think, I, I, well, yeah, you've certainly put in a very strong argument. Mm. Um, I, however, I'm going to stick to my as well. You know, I, I do believe in God. Uh, therefore, yeah. everything else that goes along with it. So, right. in other words, when you pass away, something else is waiting for you. And uh, so, so why not? So I'm still hanging in there for ghosts. Come on, ghosts. We're, we're, we're okay. there. There's something out there. We're going to, we're never going to know until after we've passed on. Yeah. Um, when, when Steve passes on, oh, sorry, when I pass on, I'm going to go back and uh, I'm going to give him a sign. Oh, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna would, that I'm be, gonna would that involve a digit being inserted somewhere? <laughs> I'm going to hide all your left socks or something. If you wake up one morning and you've got no left socks, you'll know I've been to, been to visit. Oh, okay. I, don't know how I don't know how I'm going to physically get through the drawers and unpair them and find somewhere to put them. But we'll, Minor we'll, techni we'll technical cross problem. the bridge when we come to it. So oh. that's it for this one. Thanks very much for watching. Keep liking, keep subscribing, and we will see you next time when we're going to ask the question, are the royal family racists? Ooh. Tricky one, tricky one. Looking we'll see you next time. Thanks for God watching. bless you, everybody. Stay spooky. Bye. Bye.